Hey ladies, I'm going to show you how to get this perfect first date makeup and the best part is, is that it's using all drugstore products. So I'm going to start off by priming my face and I'm using my Monostat primer and I'm smoothing this over any problem areas that I may have and then I'm just going to take the excess and smooth it all over my face. For foundation, I want something that's going to keep my skin looking like skin and just look really natural and I kind of prefer a dewy finish so that's why I reached for my Neutrogena Healthy Skin Foundation and I'm also using a beauty blender to blend this in because it's going to sheer out the foundation even more and make it look even more dewy and just really natural. Then we're going to move on to the eyes and I'm using a pink base. This is the Maybelline Color Tattoo in Inked in Pink and I want this look to be really soft so I'm going to actually take a Wet n Wild palette that I believe may have been limited edition but if you don't have this palette you can go ahead and use your bronzer as a transition shade. Then I'm going to go into the Wet n Wild palette Walking on Eggshells and I'm taking that really soft pink color and placing this all over the lid. And I'm going back and blending out the transition with the lid color. For my crease, going back into Walking on Eggshells and I'm taking the crease color and I'm stamping this in the outer corner and I'm going to go back and forth between stamping it and blending it out using the same crease brush that I used previously. For an inner corner highlight, I'm going to take the brow bone color in the Walking on Eggshells palette and sweep that on my tear duct. Then instead of gel liner, because we want to keep the look soft, I'm just taking a matte brown color and stamping this on my lashes. And then to blend the whole look together, I'm just taking a face powder and gently blending out any harsh lines. For mascara, I'm going to be using the Flamed Out. It makes my lashes really fluffy, long, and gives them a lot of volume. Next, to conceal under the eyes, I'm going to be using the Fit Me Concealer and I'm dotting this under my eyes and then using my Beauty Blender to blend it out. Then I'm going in with another coat of mascara. I'm using the Lash Blast Volume Mascara because it really separates and keeps my lashes very curled. I want to set my makeup but I don't want it to look matte so I'm using a really light powder from Physicians Formula. Then of course for the brows, I'm using my e.l.f. brow kit. I just want to keep them looking really natural yet defined and clean. And a really good tip, if you don't have a brow gel, spray a little hairspray on a spoolie and comb through your brows. They will stay in place all night. To set my under eyes, I'm using my e.l.f. HD powder. It's going to blur any fine lines and really brighten my under eye area really nicely and really subtly. For blush, I wanted a really pretty pink and I decided on Milani Luminoso. It's a pink coral blush with a really pretty sheen. For a highlight, I wanted to use something that was more golden, so I went with e.l.f. Golden Bronzer. And can't forget about exfoliating those lips. I'm using my e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator because we want really smooth, kissable lips. As for lip color, I went with Milani Nude Cream and it's a really pretty pinky nude. And to add a little bit more bright pink in there, I decided to dot on the Revlon Candy Pink Lipstick right over top. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and be sure to check out the amazing outfits that Danny put together over on her channel.